Thanks for coming to visit Inner City Transit. This is where we keep all of our buses. Would you like to meet a bus driver? Let's go. Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Well, it's nice, nice to meet you as well. Welcome. We would love to see your bus. I'd love to show you my bus. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, um, there's a lot of things going on on a bus that are actually pretty cool. Uh, first of all, I should tell you that um, the length of the bus is pretty long. It's actually 40 feet long. Let me tell you about some of the special things that we have on the bus that help our passengers get from where they started to where they need to go. A lot of people, including probably you, ride a bike and like to take their bike with them. So most of our buses have a big rack, a big bike rack, so that when the passenger uh, wants to come onto the bus, we can put their bike right on the front of the bus using the bike rack. We set it in here and the wheel goes here and that comes down and locks it. And then we can go anywhere we want and carry the bike with them. So that's the bike rack. Um, oh, how do you know where the bus is supposed to go? How do you know which bus you're supposed to be on? That's a really good question. Well, one of the ways that we help you know that is that whenever we are riding a bus, driving a bus, there is a big sign in the front, a banner sign, that says which route it is. In this case, it's Route 45. And Route 45, in this case, is going to Capitol Mall. So if you want to go to the mall, that might be the bus for you. That might be the route for you. And it says via Conger. Conger is a street, so we also stop near Conger. But those signs will help you get an idea of where this bus is gonna go. Okay, come on in, let's see the windows. Our buses have really big windows. You can see how big they are. They're a lot bigger than the windows in most people's cars, that's for sure. And it's really cool because you can see out really, really well. That's a fun part of riding a bus is you get to see those big windows. Um, now, how do you get on the bus? Well, one of the ways was just like we came on board a minute ago in the front door. We also have a back door. So there are two doors to all of our buses. You can enter through the front or through the back door. So when the bus driver pulls up to the bus stop, we can open both doors and you can come in any way that, um, any way that you want, either by the front um, or the back doors. Well, how do we know where to sit when we get on the bus? Well, there's uh, many options. You can see this whole area behind me is just full of seats that you can sit down as long as there is a seat um, available to you. And that's where you ride the bus. If you have, or are with someone that is using a specialized mobility device, like a wheelchair or a walker or something, we have a special area of the bus that will make it very safe and easy for those folks to ride with us. And one of those areas is this uh, area right here. The seats, the normal seats, will actually lift up and down so that if we have a passenger with a mobility device that comes onto the bus, we can lift that seat right out of the way and give them plenty of room for their mobility device. The next thing I want to show you is this yellow cord right here. You can see that it starts from the front and goes all the way to the back of the bus on both sides. What is that card for? Well, I'll tell you. So let's say you've boarded the bus and you want to go to the mall or you want to go to a particular um, 
cross street section, and you see that bus stop coming up. And you think to yourself, oh, this is where I need to stop. I need to make sure the bus driver knows that he or she should stop so that I can get off here. All you got to do is reach up and pull that cord. Did you hear the ding? That ding happens right up front where the bus driver sits. And the bus driver then can hear that you want to stop. And it alerts us that we need to pull over on the next stop so that we can um, make sure that you get to the right stop and then you can exit the bus after we stop. Another way that you can determine or get a heads up as to where you um, where we're going so that if you need to stop there you can let us know. Uh, in addition to looking out these big cool windows so that you can see, we have a wonderful signboard up here that it says out of service now but um, when we are coming up to each of the stops, that reader board will show us what stop we are approaching. And you'll hear an announcement that says, for example, approaching Conger and First Avenue. Oh, that's my stop, you'll say, and then you can see it right up here. And sometimes you look out the window to make sure, and then you get to pull that cool cord and ding so that the driver knows you need to stop there. I want to show you an extra special place. That's the place where I sit. And all bus drivers sit when we drive the bus. Come on in, let me show you where it is. It's right in here. You see this big chair and you have the steering wheel and all of the controls. There's a computer, all kind of switches and knobs for things like lights and windshield wipers. We even have a horn on the bus. A lot of times the people who are younger among us like to blow on that horn and it's a lot of fun. It's a big horn. But this is where the driver sits and I'll get in the chair um, and sit down. And the first thing we do when we drive a bus is we put our seatbelt on and that goes right here. And we have pedals, and we have a steering wheel, and we have all kind of buttons. These buttons will open and close our doors that we talked about earlier. And, oh, it just, there's just lots of buttons here that I don't have time to tell you all about. But it's a lot of fun driving a bus because you have all of these cool things here that make the bus run, and all of the things attached to the bus are controlled here. So this is the driver's seat. Art, right, there's something else that I want to show you that's really cool about the bus. Sometimes you notice that the bottom, the floor of the bus, if you look between the ground and the floor, that's a big step. And sometimes we have passengers that need a little help with that. So the bus has the the, uh, the ability to go down, and that way the space between the ground and the floor of the bus gets shorter. I'm going to show you how to kneel the bus. At least that's what we call it, kneel the bus. Here we go. Are you ready? Isn't that cool? Did you hear the beep? That's a loud beep that tells everybody around to be very careful because the bus is moving and then it stops when we have completely lowered the bus, kneeled the bus. And so now you can come on and it's not such a big step. Another thing that the bus does that helps folks that need a little extra help getting on the bus, let's say they're in a mobility device of some kind, the bus has a ramp. Let me show you how that works. Up and down the ramp a little bit if the bus driver lets you. 
Don't tell anybody I said that that was okay, but it is fun. Anyway, that's our ramp. And so when the passenger comes on, enters the bus and is sitting down, then we press another button that stows the ramp or closes it up. Here we go. Last thing we do before we leave 